Okay, so we just left off. They just told Chell that her uncle is Father Gregory and that her full name is Chell Martinez. Oh yeah, what a plot twist. And as somebody pointed out on the Half-Life Reddit, Chell's full uh, first name is visible in the jumpsuit texture. And it apparently, Chell is short for C C Celestine? <laughs> Whose turn is it? Mine? Yeah. Okay. There's some high latency going on. Here. Why are you waking latency. up all of the zombies? You just stepped on like four you, sleeping zombies you see, in a row. I'm like a full like half second behind my keyboard uh, inputs um, <laughs> to what's actually happening in the game. Now I guess we search around. I don't care. That was actually really cool what you just did, and I'm fully aware that it was unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> that's I guess that's one good thing about you constantly holding down the mouse buttons. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. Yep. Is this one monitor being on significant or like... Oh, who knows? Anything's possible with this mod. Maybe... I maybe can type there's... on the computer. Yeah, the solution might be that you have to type on the computer ten times in a row without stopping for the door to open, and we wouldn't know <laughs> until we did that. Not one, not two, not even eight. <laughs> when I was a kid, like, really little kid, uh... I would play all computer games with the arrow keys as my walking controls. I would as well up and I think Minecraft was the first game where I didn't use arrow keys. Oh boy, is this a crane puzzle? Oh no. Uh, we probably need to turn on the power or something. I mean, I, I flipped that breaker over there. There's also some kind of crazy mountain mounted harpoon gun down there. Where? Sandbags. Oh, that. It has like a gigantic scope on it. I There's would a make a joke about who the heck would put a scope on a mounted gun, but then I'm sure some idiot would show up in the comments and be like, "Um, actually, uh, the military uses a 357 loaded caliber sniper rifle that's mounted with it's a like, gigantic scope." Oh my gosh! No on one it. cares. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> the the fact that I said 357 caliber sniper rifle is also incredibly I'm like okay, incorrect. Leave, leave me. Al nobody cares. I I I, I realized that me saying nobody. Cares cares is probably gonna hurt somebody's feelings but i don't care <laughs> i actually do care about your feelings very much leave me alone sad because you insulted their favorite weapon caliber they're like oh <laughs> oh oh okay wait this is where we already were Oh yeah, you're right. And Wait, you, you just woke up more zombies. Quick to, okay. the to the sniper mounted sniper rifle. Gun. And they're he doesn't seem to be moving very fast. They're zombies. Okay, I don't know what the problem is. It's like getting stuck. Just at, use like... the scope. What's the scope button? I, you can't. I don't think you can. Oh my god. It's actually chambered in. I keep saying calibered in because uh, I don't know gun terminology. Oh yeah, we flipped that switch like five minutes ago, but I don't know what it did. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you what it did. Does it have like wires going from it to whatever it's connected to like most games? Oh wait, there is a wire. Let's follow it. I mean, I think it just goes over here, but like, yeah, this, well, that's not working. Oh, maybe it's powering that thing. D what no, thing? No, no, no. This thing? That. Yes. Oh, that's what... Okay. <laughs> because, of course, the wire extends all the way and doesn't... Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's funny every time. <laughs> oh, no. Train in the way. Unless this is just one of those things. Well, oh. Oh, we had to plant explosives on him? Okay, so I assume this is like a Call of Duty objective hint thing. Like, 
if you've ever played the older Call of Duty games where they oh, have yeah, the objectives yeah, and like about. the transparent glowy yellow things. It's like, this is what you're supposed to do because you're too dumb to figure it out. <laughs> that, that's, that just pretty much sums up Call of Duty in its entirety. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What? No. Oh. oh. Explobibs. It, uh, they just they just have a room dedicated to explosive barrels in the train. In, in the subway. <laughs> Are you serious? Why would that be there if that wasn't the solution? That's what I'm saying. It's like danger explosives. I'm like, yeah, what's your point? And I'm stuck. Box. What is the point of those? Uh, I don't know. Liminal spaces. <laughs> Despite the fact that there's a blinky thing right here that says danger explosives. What's funny is that the, I think that's actually the model for the combine issued food rations, <laughs> but like with the. No food wonder they're not gonna are... explode! Random hook. The hooks. <laughs> Oh, so I can- this is interactable? Maybe you have to use that, and once you hook it to something, then you could use the controls in the control room. Oh, of course. I think it's just a decoration. <laughs> you better have the walkthrough you were using last time, like, ready right. in the background. <laughs> Yeah, you just hit yourself in the back of the head with a meat hook, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it happens all the time, don't worry about it. Oh no, now the- Now the first video that comes up when I Google it is our video. Mm. I literally typed in Chell's Way to Home walkthrough and the first thing was our video. We're ruining our own chances of survival. While you're doing that, I'm gonna look around. Someone, uh, posted a video one day ago. Jell's Way to Home is a normal portal mod with no bugs whatsoever, and they copied our thumbnail. Yeah, the title is a copy of RT Games videos. Oh my gosh. Even other popular YouTubers rip off RT Games, uh, titling conventions or whatever. Oh my... Are you... Temple Bryce, what did you get us into? Uh, nothing. And this window is jump outable. Uh, apparently. So. Eh. Okay, there we go. So, anyway, this door opens. There is important thing right here. I would have just thought that was a candy wrapper. Yeah. A oh, key. You found the key to the armory. Oh. You put the key in, I see it. Oh, so I had, to, I had to put the key in and then break it. Well, we could have just done that with a- Hey, look, it's the explosive MRIs. So this is fake, uh, canister. Uh, this is real one. You gotta grab the explosive MRIs. You don't know how to use guns. You're, you're a woman. <laughs> I mean... You can't open them. You only you can only use the rockets and the explosive MRIs, which you actually need to grab, but you keep refusing to acknowledge their existence. Where are the explosive those? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're trying to tell me that the explosive barrels didn't work, but the MRIs absolutely work. And yes, I acknowledge the fact that I just stepped on that zombie, and he's going to be a little bit upset because I woke him up. Oh, now we need the explosive barrels. Watch us have soft locked this. I'm gonna be mad. Did you use all the explosive barrels? Yeah, because I didn't know we were supposed to go on a wild goose chase anywhere. Oh no. Hey, can you hand me your grenade, please? I just had very a, uncooperative. I just had a random flashback to the day we bought our puppies when I was like seven and I don't know why. Aww. I <laughs> thought you were, uh, I never thought you had like puppies plural. I thought you had one dog and then the rest is just like 
cats. No, I've had, if I remember correctly, I've only had three dogs in my lifetime. I had an Akita when I was very small. Uh, we got two chocolate Labrador Retrievers when I was like seven, and that's the memory that I just had a flashback to, and I have no idea why, because I don't think there's anything about the subway system that would trigger that memory, but... Oh, good. It locks into place, so it's not going to be like one pixel off and then it just fails and we soft lock again. I want to know how many of our videos I've just repressed from my memory. I like, I hardly ever go back and watch our video. Oh no, here, here are the boys. Let's run them over. At top speed. Yeah, we're going about uh 12 miles an hour this is like the trains that they have to get around like amusement parks or like the zoo or whatever just like they go slow enough to be able to see the attractions <laughs> what? i'm it's... just picturing some that are fast like too fast that so you can't see the attraction it's like oh my gosh <laughs> it's your turn Yay. good graph out at eight rebuilding how many times can they rebuild them This is weird. <laughs> oh my god. Are At we least... supposed to be doing something about this, or are we just in intended to endure the pain? Genius level design. Oh, hey, Phil. Oh. You didn't do anything to speed it up, did you? Uh, I ran over a gas can. That made it go fast. Just like real life. Yeah. I mean, gas is what makes cars go. <laughs> if you run over gas, it makes you go fast. I don't think that's a that's a rhyme we should add to our repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just this for like 20 minutes? I don't know. It could be this for 40 minutes. I have no way of knowing for sure. I mean, this this mod is unapologetically realistic for no reason, so maybe this is just an extremely long tunnel system. So how was your weekend? This is an appropriate time to ask, <laughs> seeing as the weekend is still going on and also we have the time to talk about literally nothing else. <laughs> it's going fine. How is yours? You'd rather um, run into planks instead of instead of answer the question. There's no answer to the question. I don't do anything on the weekends. Yeah, I know that. I finished my lines. That's about it. And I sent them to Binkus yesterday, and he still hasn't said anything, which has me really worried. <laughs> He's like sitting there at his computer, like glasses like low on the bridge of his nose, like. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's too Minecraft uh, villagery. Well, that's what I, what I intended. I see light bulb. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> no, Celestine. Min <laughs> minimalist mod vibes when the bus crashed. <laughs> hey, you. You're finally awake. Oh, I didn't know grubs could talk in Nordic. Hello, what wisdom do you hold, Nordic creature of old? Yep, boo boo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are these boys doing? Uh, he has some kind he of laser, laser fight. vision. He's bossing them around, and they're sad about it. Oh, we still have gravity gun. Are we trying to... That's a oh, good so thing we... I'm insane. So we just threw everything at the fan to see what, what landed. Uh, that's like five different idioms combined. I know, but the practical applications of such an idiom felt like they were... You know, slightly warranted. 
It's a good thing that ladder happened to crumble, otherwise our short little arms couldn't get us up there. <laughs> I mean, considering how stubby Celestine's legs look, her arms probably ain't any better. That's true. Is it still my turn? Yeah, you just crawled through a vent and that was like it. Oh yeah, my whole turn was just waiting for the roller coaster to end. That's an emotional we... roller coaster. <laughs> Would we say roller coaster? That was more like a, a line. I mean, we did coast. And we rolled, so, oh, of course, a <laughs> random tube on the wall is the way out. When in doubt, press E on everything. Go away, spider chicken. I don't like the that combination of words. <laughs> spider monkey I'm okay with, spider chicken is a no-go. Just pretend it's a chicken that got Spider-Man's powers, and you'll, you'll be okay. It's the safest interpretation. Well, here's the thing. I eat chicken. I don't eat monkey. So I guess that's that's why I'm okay with Spider-Monkey, because I'm like, oh, that's not something I have to consume. <laughs> oh, uh, it's a watertight door. Science. Are you going to go up? No. It's like, this is the part of our story where we learn that, uh, that C Celestine, uh, cannot swim. This is the part where we learn her limbs are too stubby to swim. No. We just sealed that boy in there for the rest of time. Good idea, Dr. Freed. Okay. Oh, look, I have new followers. It's a good thing that we know how to get rid of the red screen is by being at full health constantly. If you stub your toe, your screen's red forever. Oh, so are we in Father Gregory Raven land? Hold em. It was nothing nigh the countryside. Bill, Bill. Hey, are we gonna have epic family reunion with Father Gregory? So, oh yeah, I was thinking about this last time. So, Father Gregory is Russian, right? Yeah. And Shell is Asian, right? If her last name is Martinez, isn't that a... Well, that's what I was gonna... That that was my next step, was... Isn't okay. that a Hispanic last name? <laughs> yeah. Shell is Asian. She has a Hispanic last name and a Russian uncle. He never said biological uncle, so... Oh, well... She, she could have been adopted, and he's like the, the crazy uncle who like floated away on an iceberg or something, but now he's back. Hello, I'm your niece, Muscat. Tokai Pinot Grease. <laughs> okay, that's Pinot Grease. It's a wine. I don't know anything about alcohol, unlike Th you. It's the only thing about wine that I know is how to pronounce uh, Pinot. <laughs> I, I eat the Skyrim health potion. Hey, dude, we might need that. <laughs> oh, oh, Uncle. I thought he was just about to die right in front of us. This is not you. Что выбрал не лучшее время для беседы, Тед. He's like, I am your real uncle. Oh, uh, breathing. Да. Мне бы хотелось иметь больший простор для действий. Or maybe this is a Palpatine situation, and we don't actually have parents, and G-Man created G -Man us. Somehow G-Man returned. G-Man created us with midi chlorians. Определенными ограничениями. Hmm. Так вот, запомни, моя дорогая, пришло время вернуть мне должок за то, что я спас вашу жизнь. This is angrier than I've ever seen him look. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, graph out of date rebuilding. Oh. 
No Man's Sky ending. Oh no! Clipped texture ending. Thank you for assuming the party escort submission position. My gosh. Wait, we never got to see Shell's house. So we made it home, and then he's like, Nah. <laughs> and then sent us back to right after Aperture exploded. Nothing he said even made sense. I don't even... I don't even know what he was trying to say. Let's, let's look at who's responsible for this. <laughs> Author of the idea. Scenario, level design, character voices, prop compiling, particle editing, coding, creating scenes and face poser is Pavel Pavlov. Palalol. George Destroy. <laughs> I mean, Pro considering I have a friend whose username is Matt Destroy, that's... that's <laughs> prop uncanny. modeling, textures, level design, the voice of the character Sam. I don't know which character that was. Probably Yakuza guy. Strideman, prop modeling, particle editing, game design, creating unique logics and game mechanics. He's the one who's responsible for these game mechanics and logic. <laughs> Strideman, no. Blacklist that man from life. I know. I'm like, don't let him into any any groups or social gatherings ever. <laughs> uh, Banned from all future family <laughs> gatherings. <laughs> Platzmer, the author and performer of the final soundtrack of How Many Measure. Is How Many Measure the sick, like, uh, jazz? Is this the thing we're hearing now? The sick saxophone solo that's going <laughs> right now? <laughs> RT, level design, geometry optimization. RT Man game Jack. did the level design. <laughs> Man Jack, coding. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> uh, Glanix, Fisherman, and other male voices. Female voices, they were generated. They couldn't find a girl to voice the character. I mean, that's, that's, that's life. <laughs> You can't get a girl voice actor. They don't exist. You have to generate them on the website. I mean, look who's talking voice actor of Alex in that like two Google Translate. <laughs> okay. CWTH. What? I wonder what that means. Celestine's way to home. Exactly. <laughs> we never got to see her house, though. No, we have G-Man to thank for that. We will have our revenge. Oh, he feed pigeons. Wait, if he's feeding them dog food, how come it's like sunflower seeds? <laughs> oh my gosh, the dog on the dog food is the... It's the model for Tommy's dog from HLVRAI. Is it? Yes. I wouldn't know that. I never, I never watched that far into the series. Oh.